Brothers, so you want to be a good leader. Beautiful. We need more amazing leaders. We need more inspiring men in the world. We need men who are willing to learn to lead now. So eventually we can have a greater collective of elders, something we're desperately short of at the moment, especially on the men's front. So you want to be a good leader. How in the world do we do that? How do you develop the skill set, the attributes, the composure, the grace, the level of elegance to be a great leader? Here's a saying, and I want you to remember it. Leadership, epic leadership, evolves and emerges from receivership. Deep, deep levels of receivership. So leadership is often attributed to that masculine edge, the masculine essence, the direction, the drive, the we're going this way, trust me, and we, we've got this. But that can only come, that can only come from the foundations. And people often confuse uh, having solid masculine foundations. What that actually means is having a solid connection to receivership and receivership is the essence, it's the nature, it's the, it's the, it's the actual juice and gold of the feminine. The feminine is the holding. Imagine it like this bubble, this orb. That's the holding, it's the all. That is the foundations, it's where we come from, where we go back to. It is the all. And from that bubble at a certain point, there's enough information uh, like accumulated, but that information doesn't come from reading textbooks, from reading statuses, from watching, watching this video. That information comes from having direct experience, from being, from being a body. And being means experience, it means being in the process, in the moment. So that feminine receivership, being in that space of experiencing the depths of all we can feel, living life to the nth degree of our ability to be in the world, be of service to it, be a part of it. And from that accumulated experience, from that place, from that place of information, really that's wisdom and knowledge. We don't have to think about that once we've had the experience, we know. From that place, then a direction starts to emerge. An arrow starts to orb starts to come from that orb, it starts to pierce through one of the edges of that circle, and it takes leadership, direction, action. That's when we start to have drive. But don't forget, the feminine is what fuels that. The feminine is what gives that clarity. When that arrow gets too far away from that orb, it starts to go astray, and we have all these crazy ass leaders leading the world right now. That, that's what's going on here. No ability to deeply feel, sit with themselves, stay in the feminine of receiving. So epic leadership, comes from deep receivership, learning to feel, building the emotional vocabulary, direct experience of being a body. You know, you can't, emotions can't be thunk, they have to be felt. And we have emotions when we have experiences, not cerebral, embodied, in life, actual experiences. So men, you wanna be a good leader, learn how to receive. Receive yourself in the depths of your emotions, receive other people in the depths of their emotions. Hold that space within yourself with complete awareness. Soak in all of the beautiful information and experience has to offer to you. And from that place, that's where epic leadership comes from. That's where the beauty of being a man, a graceful, elegant elder, that's where that emerges from. You want to be a good leader? Epic leadership evolves and emerges from deep receivership. Give it a go. Blessings.